Hello everybody, Axis here, um, and I'm back with another tutorial. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to do thumbnails as you can see. And this kind of thumbnail is like found on graphics channels or uh, like abstract channels for clans and stuff and teams. Uh, so it's a really simple thumbnail to do. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, it shouldn't take too long. So here I've got a 1080p canvas, 1920x1080 full HD. And um, first, what you're going to want to do is with um, a new material. Uh, on the first material, just make the background um, like a a very dark grey or light br black, and then fill it like that. And then what you're going to want to do is with your second layer um, get the pen tool here and then just click up at the top here and then click hold shift and then go straight to the bottom and click again and then what you can do is you can drag with your cursor oh. in fact two seconds you're best zooming out for this because it's very difficult when you're not so again here and then hold shift so it creates a perfect line like this and then just drag that out like that so it creates a kind of curve and then while holding R R uh, alt click the little box here so then you can draw a straight line again up here, up here, up here and then that should be good and then right click and um, make selection like that and then click on your rectangle selection tool or whatever it is you might have one of these if you've changed it and um, then you can just kind of I'm gonna move this out a bit because there's not gonna be much room for the text or anything make sure it's a decent amount of the screen not not halfway but um, I don't know, like a quarter of a screen kind of and then um, maybe make this like a you can either make this a lighter grey or a darker black but make sure it's like a black or a grey so I don't know I like that grey there so with this uh, still selected make sure you're on your other layer or a new layer then what you're going to want to do is do alt delete fill it like that and then you have your new uh, kind of box area and then double click on that layer go into drop shadow make the distance zero turn the spread up turn the size up and then turn the opacity down to about 50 oh and also um what you can do is you can, when it loads, uh, go and uh, make a stroke and then make the colour a white, like that. And that will look good either on the inside, like, oh wait, um, on the centre maybe. Right, <laughs> just do outside. But if you had more space, you could have you could do um, uh, inside or outside one. But maybe turn the up to I don't know. In fact, I might keep it low, like five or ten. Let's go for ten. Um, you could turn the opacity down to that. Also, what you could do is for the fill type, you could change it to a gradient, uh, and then maybe change the gradient to a 
a light gray to a white like net. See, so if you make it um, at the top, so I think it's 90, that's the top there, you can see there's a slight gradient going up the uh, stroke. So you can make it darker like that if you wanted. This kind of just adds a fade to it. You could also do this with the uh, other layer, both with the uh, full layer. So you could just do a gradient. Um, yours will be different, yours will be this one uh, here. And you can just change this one to the, like, a, I don't know, this kind of a black to on this uh, one you could change it to that colour, the original colour. You could do something like that but I don't really like doing it on that one. So I'm just going to keep it on the stroke. So after you've done that press OK. And now what you're going to want to do is you can add your text. So uh, grab your text tool, maybe write your name, so I don't know, Axis. I'll write that. Um, make sure it's not the same colour as the backing. So maybe a white. Maybe choose a nice font like Lobster 1.4 and yeah that looks good. So you could have that. Maybe add a drop shadow. Also you could do that gradient with the grey if you wanted to. That would look good on something like this. Oh, maybe turn the spread down a little. And then again, turn the opacity down so it doesn't look so dirty like that. So that looks good. And that's also another good um, looking kind of idea. And also, what you could do is you could duplicate it, um, scale it up. And then you could turn the opacity to like 10 or something. And then have it behind the text like that. And then you could have like speed art or something underneath it and you could have your logo as well. Uh, that's also another good idea. And this kind of thing. And then what you're going to want to do is you can add your... Uh, background that you've made so I just go and grab your background or your uh, background that you made in the speed art so I'll just do trom one of the ones I made for the RC this one here drag that in and then what you're gonna want to do first in fact is you're going to get your rectangular selection tool and select the part at the top which you don't have anything on but if you do you can leave it but I don't add anything there so just delete that make sure it's uh, rasterized and delete and then drag the square down here and delete that. So then drag this trom underneath the this here and that uh, drop shadow will add a nice fade to it. Maybe scale it up a bit. Okay. I'm just going to center that. 
maybe drag it along a bit so you could have that and then duplicate it and then drag the one at the bottom out I still left a line so have it there and then duplicate it again and then drag it all the way under here to the other side um, and then f on the top one oh, grab the drop shadow put the distance on zero turn up the s spread and size like that and then turn down the opacity and also um, it, to kind of separate them you could drag these two to the side a bit so you could drag them like slightly off center like that which also looks good and then you can I'm going to merge these together so I can blur them out like so when you've merged them both go into filter blur and then choose a blur that you would like to use so I'm going to use Gaussian blur and then I don't know I think 2.1 would be good there and you could also turn down the opacity even if you wanted to so it just focuses on the render right there so yeah that's the basis to making a kind of nice abstract uh, graphics speed art uh, thumbnail um, thanks for watching suggest tutorials um, and other stuff in the comments and I'll see you guys later thanks for watching